how to locate the best Toronto real estate investments. This is Yossi Kaplan, Toronto real estate agent and mortgage broker, and today I'm going to talk to you about the three ways you can find the best real estate investments in Toronto. Okay, let's get right into it. Yossi Kaplan, Toronto real estate mortgage broker. I help buyers, investors, and sellers buy, sell, and invest in Toronto real estate, Toronto properties, condos, homes, lofts, pre-construction, and so on and so forth. So, the first way you want to find a good investment is pre-construction. What is pre-construction? Before a building comes into market, it will be offered in pre-construction, before it was built. It may be an infill, it may be a vacant lot, it may be a parking lot, it may be an addition to an existing building. These units will be offered through VIP platinum agents such as myself. And if you're on the right mailing list, you'll have access to these condos, properties, loft. The advantage of pre-construction is usually you'll get the very cheapest price you'll get on that building in these units, especially in an upswing market like now. That means that the difference between buying the same unit in the building in the very beginning in the pre-construction VIP platinum sale and the very end, once it's been registered, could be up to 20, 30, 40 percent. Okay, so you could buy a unit today at $600,000 at a pre-construction and possibly sell it for $750, say, in a few years. That's $150,000 over $600. That's 25 percent profit on the entire price. Don't forget you only put 15 or 20 percent down so the actual profit is way way higher. So that's right because you invested say 15 percent of 600,000 that's 90,000 and you sold it for 150 more you get your 90,000 plus the 150 that's almost twice the investment you you flipped it you assigned it okay. So the first way to do it is pre-construction. The, the second way to do it is assignments. So you buy the assignments from the person who already bought it from the pre-construction Yes, you're down the line. However, assignments will still give you a discount over the market price, okay? Um, let's say, for example, here, this is the Kingley here, 507 Adelaide, right behind me there. And um, <clears throat> let's say somebody decides to sell a unit here for assignment for $6.99 right now. Uh, the reason you're gonna price it this way is because it's gonna be slightly lower than what the perceived market price is gonna be like. That means that they already give you an inherent discount over the, the assumed price once it closed. Now, assignments are not written in stone. You can always negotiate. Don't forget, you're not buying from a developer who may have big pockets and financial commitments. You're buying from an individual who already bought that condo. So you never know. Maybe they have to get rid of the condo. The life situation has changed or whatever. And they're giving you even a bigger discount on the unit. So assignments is a great way to find deals. And man, we find a lot of great assignments these days. You can find a lot of condos, very reasonable prices. Basically, you're looking at prices back that they were one or two years ago, okay? So you get one or two years discount on the price you get now. <clears throat> okay, so that's the second way assignments. I will add the links to all these properties in the bottom of this video. So you have a link to the pre-construction, where to find them, the assignments, and now number three, the resales. What's a resale? A resale unit has been deeded already. It's been registered. It's been on the market, okay? So first it was an empty parking lot pre-construction, <clears throat> then it was uh, built, it's an assignment, then it was registered, deeded to someone, say to me, I bought the unit, and now I want to flip it to you. Why would, why would it be at a deal? <laughs> because <clears throat> there is a reason why I want to sell it slightly below the market price. Or you may look and see, you know, this building is actually represents a very high ROI because some buildings, um, the price for the units, the existing units in them, it's not that high, but the rents are high, like the entire area, and that happens. So you can find a building in a block, which technically, you know, all the units around, you know, the renters will pay the same amount of money for the rent, say 2100 for the one bedroom or 3000 for the two bedroom, but some of these units, they will be less. Some of these buildings will have lesser value. So how do you do this? You do a lot of comparative analysis, you do a lot of numbers, and you need to know the buildings. Once you know, you can ask me. <laughs> And once you know, you can do really, really well on these. Okay, um, the other way, and it's got 0.3.5, still a resale, is if you find a private deal. What's a private deal? Somebody selling not on the market, not in the open market in the, in the MLS. Uh, it's still a legit sale. It's still got to go through the lawyer, but it's just not advertised in these channels. It's, a, it's called a private sale or a pocket sale, or some kind of exclusive sale. Those do exist, they don't come off them, but when they do, you're gonna get a great price. For example, somebody wants to sell the unit, but they don't want all the people walking into the unit. <coughs> that happens quite a bit. Why? Because maybe they live in the unit, they don't want the disturbance, or, you have a t or they have a tenant or whatever. 
But you know, if somebody wants to uh, buy the unit, they'll show them the unit. They just don't, they don't want 40 people walking into the unit every day in the afternoon, three, four, five groups of people going on for two weeks, okay? So you'll find very good deals. But those are not advertised at all. You gotta ask someone like myself, say, Yossi, do you have anything coming up in King West? Does anyone wanna sell? Do you have any investor they wanna sell? And I look at the list of investors, or call some other friends who work with a lot of investors, say, hey, does anyone have a unit in a specific building? Someone is looking and we can flip that unit over to the next buyer, to the next investor, okay? So it is, it is a resale, it's just not on the MLS, but that's very important, they, these do exist. Now, if you are a person who invested and wanna cash out, whether you wanna cash out on your pre-construction as an assignment, or you wanna cash out and you already own, whether you wanna put it on MLS or not, let me know and I'll help you. First of all, I'll tell you what I think it's worth. Second, I'll tell you how long I think it's gonna take you to sell. And third, I'll tell you, I'll tell you how much it's going gonna, it's gonna to cost you to sell. So that's on the selling side. So that's Yossi Kaplan today. Real quick video, and I explain to you the three ways you can invest in Toronto real estate. The pre-construction, VIP list, okay? The assignment, and the resale. Either it's on MLS or a private sale. That's it.